Hi, I'm Rob. In this video, we're going to show you how to fix the error in Windows that says we couldn't create a new partition or locate an existing one. For more information, see the setup log files. Fix partition error, remove all drives. First step to try is to disconnect any external drives connected to the PC, including external hard drives, SSDs, USB drives, or SD cards. Try again, only with the installation USB drive, if that's what you're using. Fix partition error, ESAS Partition Master. Another method is to try creating a bootable USB drive with another app. You can find ESAS Partition Master linked in the video description. Download ESAS Partition Master, connect your USB drive, launch Partition Master, and find the bootable media feature. Click on it and choose the drive. You can also save the ISO file to a local drive if you want to do it later. Click the Create button. Once it's done, Partition Master will ask if you want to restart your PC from the bootable USB. Or click Done if you want to do it manually or on another PC. You will need to either boot the drive from the boot menu or BIOS of the PC. The key depends on the brand, but usually the delete key F2, F8 or F10 will get you into the BIOS or boot menu. Wait for your PC to boot up from the USB and enter the ESUS WinP desktop. From here, you can use Partition Master to delete partitions or format the drive to install Windows. Fix partition error using Windows Disk Part. Another option is to format the drive using Disk Part. This will wipe all data on it. Use a bootable USB or DVD to start Windows. If you get the we couldn't create a new partition error message, close the setup and click the repair button. Choose advanced tools and select command prompt. Click into the command prompt menu and type disk part. Hit enter. Type list disk and press enter. A list of drives connected to your PC will be visible. Find a number that represents your hard drive and then type select disk and the number of your drive. Once you've selected the right disk, press enter. Type clean and press enter. Create partition primary. Hit enter. Active. Hit enter again. Format FS equals NTFS quick. Then press enter. And then type a sign and enter. Type exit and hit enter to leave this part. Fix partition error using Windows Disk Part Part 2. A different option we can try in this part is to make sure your partition is active. Once you've selected your disk as seen in the previous method, type list partition, followed by the enter key. So these are the partitions on the drive. Locate which partition you want to install Windows on and select it by typing select partition and then the number. Type active and then press enter. Type exit and press enter to exit this part. Fix partition error, MBR to GPT conversion. Another reason you may be having trouble is if your drive is in MBR format instead of GPT. The best way to convert an MBR to GPT disk without losing any data is ESAS Partition Master. Fix partition error, first boot device in BIOS. The final method is to make sure the USB drive is the first boot device in the BIOS. Enter the BIOS, usually by pressing the delete key F1, F2, F10 or F12 when the PC is turned on. Go to the boot device menu and make sure the USB drive is at the top. Save and exit and try the installation process again. I hope this has fixed your partitioning error during installation. For more great tips in the future, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.